As the community slowly returns back to normal, we're starting to see the ripple effects of the pandemic. This is impacting businesses across the board, including the used car industry. Kate Houston digs deeper into what's causing recent sky high prices. Everything is like three times the price. Like the inflation is crazy. Every dealer ship that we stop by, the price is way up high. Like these uncomparable prices, like you know, can afford it. Finding an affordable car has now become a challenge for many families. It's frustrating because, you know, we're already in a situation where we're hanging on by a thread. A lot of us are not working or just getting back to work, and we really don't have, like, a means of, you know, spending exorbitant amounts of money. Dealers at Charlie Cheap Car say higher prices are due to a combination of issues. Uh, the shutdowns, less inventory on the new car lots, less trade-ins for the, for the new car uh, stores. Um, Therefore, everybody's scrambling. A microchip shortage is also keeping new cars in factories and causing prices of SUVs to climb drastically. You see some dealers, new car dealers around town that look like they're going out of business just because they have no inventory. This is making trade-ins even more valuable. What they might have been able to get $3,000 for their used car last year, maybe it's $4,500 now. Cox Automotive analysts expect these prices to last through summer and possibly into next year. We're just going to have to ride it through and see what happens. Um, but I don't think it's anything permanent. Although it may sound daunting, Chance says there are options. We understand the short job time right now. We have lenders that are willing to work with people who are just going back to work after the pandemic. Kate Houston, 8 News Now. Cox Automotive says there are 1.4 million fewer cars in inventory this year compared to the same time last year, and that's about a 42% drop.